All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the career run for Bas Rutten. Uh, just a reminder, if we sign to fight Yiri Prohajke, the weeaboo samurai. <laughs> so he's four and a half stars. Kickboxer. And look at those, look at those top moves ratings. Five stars for the spinning elbow, four star flying knee, four star hook and lead hook. And a body straight, also a four star. And this is going to be difficult. Very difficult. Probably the hardest one so far, I'm, I'm going to argue. So, without further ado, I'm in a six week camp, so I'm going to get stuck in and I'll see you back here in a little bit. Alright, training done. Queen Cassis, expecting some fireworks from you tonight, El Huapo. Well, I hope I can deliver, because the past two fights have been this hard fought decisions. So I'm looking to try and get a stoppage, but against Yiri Pohajka, it's going to be going to be difficult. We did learn, I've just learned a new technique in training, learned the uh, Kimura from Stefan Struve. El Wapo is boring, says Martai Mahin, but at least he, oh, I can't read the rest of that, I didn't want to. Rudy Ma Masson, it's clear that El Wapo doesn't know a left hook from a fish hook. What a look at this trash talk. Aaron Colden. Another fight, another loss for El Wapo. Uh, a loss for El Wapo. Oh, and all these haters coming out. Yeah, we, we learned the, uh, the Kimura from from the full guard and the side mount, so just another another feather in the cap, another notch on the tomahawk. Weapon in the toolbox, or tool in the toolbox, should I say. 40 points to play with, not all that much, but it's better than a kick in the nuts. So I'm probably going to go get footwork boxed off. It's not that expensive. And I'll hang on to this 16. What can else this switch stance? Never bother with that, ever. I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to cut this out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then... Well, uh, yeah, I can't do nothing else with that. 16 points, so it's off to, to the fight. Oh, look at it. Wait a minute. Where did, where did they get these injuries from? How long has this been like this? Oh, it's from the end of the fights, isn't it? Shit. Well, that's not good. I'll get the chin one healed anyway. Leg strength and... Oh, dear. I forgot all about that shit. All right, we're going into this fight injured then. Fucking last turn of a last minute turn of events. Drama. Right, I'll see you at the fight for Yiri Prohajka. feel like this is a loss for me, this one. I'm just not feeling confident. I think, I feel like Yiri's, Yiri's stats are going to be a lot for me to deal with. I don't know. I can just see him getting the win here. Past couple of performances, we just eat decisions out. Not look to have that, like, that stopping power. I don't know, it's just not been there, even though the, the power in the stats is maxed out. Obviously, I'm going to give it a go. I just feel like these fights are getting harder and harder, like, like, I'm really not imagining that. Like, in the previous career that I did at light, uh, Featherweight and Lightweight, I felt like there was a lot of these fights, like, really hard fights, but there was a couple of, like, in-between ones where, like, the AI just kind of dialed down a little bit. Like, like it wasn't blocking as much, it wasn't it wasn't sidestepping, it wasn't countering me. But in this in this career, I feel like, career, I feel like this is every fight. It's, the AI is just, like, doing all the sidesteps, it's doing all the... Uh, all the blocking, it's staying just on the outside of my range, it's hitting me with counters. I feel like it's most of these fights that that's happening, but it's all part of the challenge, it's all part of the legendary career, I know, but God, I'm just like, I'm fucking struggling in every one of these fights. Here he is, the Weeaboo Samurai. Made his debut in July 2020. He's looking thick in this game, Yuri. I don't think he's he's, he's that big. He's a bit more, uh, I don't know, slim down than that. I mean, he's a big lad, but he looks fucking huge. He looks like a Skyrim NPC body. Look at him just fucking strutting around, eyeballing the crowd. However, 
many crowd there is, all 26 people in the audience for this main card fight. Five inches of reach were given up, that's never good. So we throw it over to Bruce Buffer for the intros. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC, a light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, El Diablo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Bruno Czech Republic, Yuri Denisa Kuchaska. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. All right, time to switch on now. Oh, we didn't skip the cringe. We didn't skip. We got to see the cringe for the first time in ages. Fucking Yuri should be. Oh, look at him faking the glove such and it. Oh, fucking hell. I've got a feeling this is going to be a hard fight. Yuri looking like a fucking Skyrim character. Say, so, yeah, I feels different already. Oh, fucking drops me with like the second punch he's thrown. It is stats fucking just jacked all the way up or something. And he just somehow teleports back to where he was stood. And catches me fucking leg. Check that one. And just took that like a fucking boss. Just looked at me and said, What the fuck are you trying to do? He just looks like he's going to spring in and just do something terrible. Oh, hard low kick there. Covered a lot of distance with that. Just perfectly out of range all the time. Ooh. Into the body gets through. Another low kick. Took a couple of low kicks. Well, he's landed a couple as well. Don't want to be trading like that. Checks one. Oh, and he returns the favour with the front kick. I thought it was out of range there. Say that sweep is never going to work. Oh, big overhand connects at the end of the round. I want to be taking counter overhand damage. God. We got this fucking dodgy camera angle happening. What's going on? Counter right straight from Yeri drops me. That's what put me down. So that's probably his round based on the knockdown, maybe. I don't know. The AI I just feel this this is the most dialed up the AI feels. God, I feel like it's it's just waiting to just fucking laser precision KO me at any second. Alright, you're doing Oh fucking hell. One head kick. 
Porto was out of range there. Oh, and he knocks me down with an uppercut. Fuck me, his stats are just fucking ridiculous. Look how long I've got to wait for this fucking health event to fucking clear up. Checked. Kick to the liver gets in. Bit late on that, though. The fucking brain fart reaction there. Another low, low kick gets through for Yiri. Another one. Block that one. And another one. Oh, we get it with the right straight. Oh, and he somehow just pivots out of the way of that head kick. Oh, kick to the body as he was circling out. Cut lands for Yeri. Oh, I took a risk there, went for an uppercut, didn't pay off. Thought that jump and switch kick was going to the head. Oh, and a slip straight counter. He went to the body. Head kick connects. I feel like we just clawed around back there. Fucking hell, this is hard. Oh, that left head kick. I thought he was going to the body there, or I thought I was out of range, and I just fucking took it. And an uppercut puts me down, that was earlier in the round. So we both got a knockdown, I forgot that he got that knockdown there. Oh, that was a nice combination, that, to be fair, not mad at that. God, this is hard. Oh, and he inside low kick hits me straight off the bat. I mean, we've hit him with shitloads of fucking low kicks, and he hits me with, like, a one hard one. Oh, of course he fucking checks one. Well, let me get one back, will he? Fucking I've hit him with a shit ton of low kicks. Oh, and a one-two puts me down. We're getting KO'd in this one. And a fucking low kick injury there. It's fucking beating me up here. Oh... Oh, it just comes out of the gates on fucking Terminator mode. Checked it. Oh, that's spin an elbow. He's got five stars on that bitch. Oh, a front kick to the face as it was coming in. Oh, we pivoted into that low kick, did fucking nothing. Oh, we went for the liver shot there. Another uppercut. Oh, 
Oh, and a front kick to the face just ends it. Fuck me, he must have, he must have been on high vulnerability there as he came forward. Oh, just put his lights out with the front kick. Jesus Christ. Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting... Oh, look at that. I was expecting him to low kick me a couple more times and that'd be over. Oh, look at that. Bang, fuck off. Have some of that shit. God, that was hard. That leg was just taking too much punishment. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of the third round. And as it came into engines as well, I had, I had low, uh, what was it, body damage and might have been leg damage as well. So it's no wonder he was actually damaging us with the low kick. It's probably going to be another, oh, that's 7.9 on the fucking longevity, Jesus. So I'm just amazed the front kick actually landed and he didn't fucking block it. There's stats. I'm, I'm surprised as well at the end there we didn't get any longevity damage there. Oh! Just put him out. Anderson Silver style front kick. Oh, Steven Seagal. <laughs> the Steven Seagal bullshit that he claims to have taught Anderson. Contracts can we do? First round finishes, no way we're getting that one. KO and TKO, three fights without an injury. Uh, two stoppages. Gained six spots in rank by the end of the contract. Can we do that? Six spots? I don't know. Um, I'll go for KO or TKO. Try that one. Even though the past two fights have been fucking decisions, but I'll give it a go. Chris Weidman retires, and this is still my boy. Knocking on the door of the top five. Nikita Krylov standing in the way. Reyes is still at number four, even though he lost. Prohaj just comes down to number nine. Let's see who we've got next. What a fight. El Wapo may have earned his shot at the title tonight. What? Surely not. I didn't think so. Number 14, Anthony Smith. No, that, that doesn't fly. We don't go for number six to fight in number 14. Misha Serkinov, 13. Nope. We had the chance to fight. They could have offered us, offered us them fights earlier. Nikita Krylov, that's more like it. One place above us. Offering me fucking... People not even at the top ten. I know I've got to defend my spot, but Jesus. John Jones, winner by decision, gets it done over Jacker MMA. Fucking hell, Jones just... Not going anywhere with that belt and that pile of cocaine. He's staying there. Watch the tapes on Krylov. Four and a half stars. Kickboxer. Orthodox chokes for four. Guillotines for four. Roundhouses kicks for three. Lead roundhouse for three. Let's get that in. Shit unlocked. Common profile pick. Signature Del Santos. 50 coins. We got a five week camp for this. Alright, I'll go get stuck into the camp and I'll see you when I'm done. Alright, training session in the bag. Mick Gamboa, one more bridge to cross, something, something, something. Wonder what excuses El Wapper will make after this one, says Ivor Colton. 
Abby Colton. I know El Wapo was getting that title. Oh, look at the Coltons having a disagreement over, over who's going to win. Right. Not crazy to shout about. Just got some basic training in. Didn't, didn't learn anything. Didn't get any moves leveled up. 49 points. So that's going to go on fixing these fucking injuries that I totally forgot that I had. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, maybe it's time to start bumping this up a little bit. I don't know. What's, what's left to do here? Blocking. Uh, should I go? Just because I don't like half a stars. <laughs> we'll get that up to a full star. Body strength at three star. And that's all we can do for now. Try and get these two up. What are we left here with one star? That's all I can do for now. We'll get them there. We'll get them there. All right, he'll see it is at the arena for Nikita Krylov. Davis again with the pervert camp at the weigh-ins. He's there lurking off to the side. Right. All down to business now. Hopefully <laughs> Nikita Krylov's not going to be as difficult as Prohashka was. God, I was on fucking tender ox during that fight. His AI was just... I feel like the hardest AI so far I've come across. He had me in some health events just off one shot. So at least the legs are healed up now, so we should be able to take at least one low kick before we're fucking limping. But we'll see. See what kind of AI Krylov's going to come at us with. We're on medium hype as well, so... It's not going to be easy. I think this is going to be hard. I feel like Krylov's probably had some kind of a buff as well in this game, if I, if I had to guess, just because of his last performance over Alexander Gustafsson. And he fucking destroyed Gus. In his, uh, in his last outing. So I'm guessing the developers have buffed him since then. I'll say, if I've never fought this guy's AI before, I've got no idea what to expect. Debuted in the Octagon on September the 1st, 2013. Kyokushin karate background. Very low average fight time, so he's fucking gets in, he does his business, and he's out, which is terrible for us. I feel like I want to be upgrading to the to the snap jab and the the loop and cross soon. I just feel like these the, the standard jab and the the right the normal straight, it's just not doing it for us at the moment. I just feel like I'm not hurting people as much. Tail of the tape. Giving up two inches of reach. Not a new, we're kind of used to this now, giving up the height and reach. Ladies so and over to Bruce for the intro. The UFC, a light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, El Diablo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 32 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Donetsk, Ukraine, Nikita Al Capone Krylov. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb getting us underway. Ready. Skip the cringe. You ready to fight? Skip that cringe. Oh, I actually wanted to throw a front kick there, but a fucking roundhouse came out for some reason. Oh, nice four-piece combination there. Can't believe all of it landed. Oh, I should have went for the front kick to the face. Spinning back kick by Krylov. Good, 
He's on them toes, look at him. Inside, low kick. Oh, should have pulled back. I'm not recognising these hooks yet, you know, to do the head movements. I'm just there. Oh, nice elbow there from Krylov. Just not there yet. My reactions with the hooks. Oh, and he just fucking cracked me with a huge shot there. Oh. Just took some big damage here. Just have to cool off for a little bit. Oh, he's gone for the shoot. Oh, elbow. Another one. Oh, and a knee as he goes to the body. Look at this fucking movement. Oh, hard low kick there. Oh, come on. Fuck off. Look at this bullshit AI. Pivots off and avoids all damage and then just counters me. Fucking suck my cock. Shit, have that fucking left upper cut. Oh, hard kick to the body. Oh, way too far out. My distance is all wrong. <laughs> Nearly punched me in the nuts there as I lift my leg up in the air. Fucking second time he's caught that. Front kick levelled up, thank you very much. Pivoted into that one. Oh, and he's given me a little cheeky one just on the buzzer. Well, we got to him. We hurt him. Oh, but he hurt us as well. Look at that check right hook that he just gave me there. Fucking hell, he hit that flush. And then he hit it. followed up with a head kick as well. Let's see that again. Oh, it was a block counter right hook as well. Fuck. I've got to start learning to time them as well. But it's it's got to be done on the lead hand. So it's just... Obviously, oh, look at that. Just give me the... Fl floppy lip there, you see me top lip just go flapping around in the wind yeah, timing that block counts is difficult on the lead hand, and it obviously depends what what stance your opponent is in and what punch to look for, well I guess it doesn't matter what stance you're in, you're just going to block what comes on your lead hand, but like I say, my, my muscle memory is just not there yet, I've only been playing this game a couple of weeks now and It's just not where it needs to be. Like you see all these other YouTubers like Marshall Mind and Prioxis and they've been playing the game for well, I know well, two years for this game and then a bunch of other UFC games prior, so you know they've had all that experience. Oh, a beautiful combination. Oh, and a left head kick puts him down. Oh, nice combination there. Spin and back fist. Maybe I should have fucking jumped on him there. into a liver shot oh left uh, right low kick connected it's a good round so far oh hard kick to the body and he pivots into another low kick oh and left he pivots into the left hook Oh, nice low kick there, but... Oh, counted him on the... 
With the body shot. Oh, hard low kick to the inside leg. Gotta watch it all gas myself out here. Just recover that stamina. Oh, questionable range on that head kick there. Oh, he caught me with a hard knee to the body there. Gave him one back. Oh, and I went low and he goes high with the front kick. Oh, look, fake the ankle pick briefly there. Another hard low kick. I've took quite a few low kicks. Another hard low kick. Decent round. He did get some damage in on us with the low kicks though, but he's had a couple of health events on his legs. I feel like I'm slowing down because I, I threw a lot of strikes trying to get him out of there and I felt like I had to I had to take my foot off the gas a little bit just to uh, make sure I didn't blow myself out. Oh, that left head kick just fucking... Oh, look at that. Crumpled him. Bang. Oh, that was a hard shot. That was a good round. Just need to keep that performance, keep, keep that pace. Oh, and an overhand, I didn't mean to throw that, but I'll take it, it landed. Another leg kick he pivots into. Oh, and a one-two, drops him. Oh, and an uppercut as he was going for the body. Oh, I knew that a fucker was charging up the fucking switch kick to the body. Shouldn't have done that. What unnecessary damage there. Oh, and right straight, and that's it. There's me shit dogging on the right straight at the beginning of the fight, and we fucking lay him out with it. Him in the background there, just waking up, asking what happened. Oh, and he faked the shot. He was going to fake the fake a right hand there, but he just fucking walked onto a right straight. Kind of the same thing that finished Ankalaev. He goes over on the leg. Oh, that's that. God, we put a lot of damage in on his legs there, and he still didn't Ladies give us the, the low kick finish. At one minute, 33 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, El Diablo! Good stuff, third round KO. God, these longevities will come away with an injury as well, God. Getting there, adding, the, adding up on that CT meter. And another injury, fuck's sake, we just fixed a bunch of injuries and we're going to fix some more. Oh, there's that right straight, puts him down. Henry Cejudo, the king of cringe. John Jones, been uh, been training with Henry Cejudo, I've, I've been lately. We've got that John Jones assigned, uh, signed up to fight Cyril Garn in, I think it's in March. Which is going to be... Fucking, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be awesome. Too bad it wasn't Francis, but it's just as a arguably a, a, a harder fight for Jones, I think, because with the with Gan being more well-rounded, and you know, Jones only really had to look out for the knockout threat from 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 Gan. Fight of the night, a potential UFC title shot, not bad for Olafo. We move to number four. Look at this, Uzumir in front of us, Rockhold to share it, and then Jones. Fucking hell. Where's Prahaj? Oh, he's at number seven. 
Thought he dropped down pretty far before. Dominic Reyes going down to number five. How, how actually how are we looking on goat status at the moment? I haven't checked this for a while. Oh, we can face Glover, the number the number one. Let's get it signed. We're jumping the queue a little bit. No, I don't want to quit. Wanna check the goat status. Oh, there's one, one in place anyway. Fight of the night bonuses. Not too bad. Consecutive wins. We only need four more to keep the win streak going. Like if I lose after that, I don't care. But I want to keep this fucking win streak going just to, to check off one of these requirements. Uh, the promotional stuff. That's a long way off yet. We'll only start filling that up if we become champion and possibly double champ. Uh, we should hopefully go for double champ if we get off of it, if we can get that far. UFC wins 13 out of 24. Still got a long ways to go yet. Yeah, seven more finishes we need. Only three submission wins. Need to... I don't think we'll, we'll need to get submissions, but... Let's see if we can work towards GOAT in any form anyway. So, let's see. Get the tapes watched on Glover. Four and a half for Glover. Boxer, his left hook's gonna be. Yeah, there we go. Look at that four-star hook. Is that his right? It's his right hook, though, isn't it? I feel like his left hook should be. He's got a cracking left hook, a right straight and a left hook keeps it basic. So, um, four-star orthodox chokes, four-star hook, four-star boxing combinations, same for body hook and a three-star wrestling double leg. Yeah, that's one of the things I like about Glover. He's he just he's. He's got really good basics, he's got like a really good right straight, a really good left hook. Rear naked choke is solid, you know, like old school, just not flashy, does everything. Got really sharp basics, that's what I like about him. Alright then, rough waffling, I'm going to get stuck into this training, and I'll see you back here when I'm done. Alright, training session done, don't see El Wapo getting another knockout ever. All the shit talk, you smell that El Wapo, that's a title shot coming, Josephine to right. Brandy... Kiozov, El Hey Wapo, what are your plans for a new job after you lose? Oh, look at that. Adam Coughlin from KO to KO, El Wapo. Look at this. All these punks want us to lose. All these haters. Josefina Bartu, not that makes me happier than seeing Livershot you lose. Well, that sums up the internet today, doesn't it? Fucking swanting to see people fail. That's, that's realistic in this game. Right, enough fucking plebs fucking talking shit on social media. 72 points to spend. Got some submissions and leveled up. So, I'm thinking either put it into recovery. Uh, what does it say I was going to do? Blocking it. Maybe recovery. That's been sitting at three for too long now. Get that up to four. Can only do one of these. I feel like leg strength is going to be getting attacked more than the body. Right. This is going to be a tough one. Glover to share it. We're not at the... I don't think it's a main event, is it? No, just a main card fight. Number one rank, Glover to Shearer. There we go, this is going to be a tough one, and I'll see you at the, at the arena. Here we are. Coach Davis at it again with Pervert Cam. I love how like he's filming you on one side and then it just cuts and he teleports and he's on the other side. Must be uh, quick with that video editing on the fly. I've got him in the background there, fucking Coach Davis. Fuck it up. Right, up oh, business time now, down to business. I feel like Lover's gonna be a beast in this game. I've never fought him. I've never fought his AI. But um, I don't think this is gonna be easy. I think this is gonna be Yiri Prohajka levels of AI. I don't know if I just... He's only recently just lost the belt, hasn't he? And he lost it to Yiri, so... His AI is going to be... Uh, pretty solid, I feel. He's got decent stats. We'll have to see. How we get on. I think we're knocking on for the title shot after this. Look at him walking out with the baseball cap. See, why didn't he, why didn't he give you the choice? Can you pick accessories like that and I think you can can't you I think you can pick accessories 
You should be able to like customize your walkout gear and stuff like that, you know what I mean? You just stripped all, all that away in this game. Luta Livre, Black Belt, debuted in the Octagon in 2000, uh, 2012. He's lost 10 fights in his career. I think he fights out of the pit, doesn't he? That old school Hawaiian, uh, Hawaiian Kempo gym where Chuck Liddell used to train. I think the trainer there is uh, John Hackleman. I don't know if that is, is that where Glover still trains? I'm not sure. I really don't know. We trained there for a long time. Tail of the tape. Only one inches. Not giving up that much height. Only an inch in reach. Should be a bit closer in terms of we're not giving up any disadvantages in this fight. this fight. So over to Bruce with the, the introduction. A light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, El Diablo. And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 38 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Clover to Shira! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean getting us underway. Skip the cringe, as always. Good stuff, Glover. Oh, look at that, immediately just dodges the fucking... The front kick to the face. Right straight left up, it landed as he came in. Oh, and it went for the front kick to the body as he were, he shot him for the takedown there. Oh, and uppercut gets him as he changes levels. Oh, nice combination. Check that low kick. Oh, nice hook there by Glover. And a shot to the body after it. He's going for some shoots as Glover here. Oh, a bit of reaction there off that right straight to the body. Elbow. Oh, nice low kick. Oh, when am I going to learn about that? Throwing that switch step left kick with no setup. It's just too risky for the AI to counter that. It knows the wind up. Oh, nice body shot there by Glover. Checked the low kick. Oh, nice right straight left up there as he came in. Pumping that jab out there. Oh, nice left up to the body there. Oh, bit of a reaction from him there. Uppercuts from Glover. I tried me slip out the way, but it didn't do anything. He still got me. Oh, that's just so dangerous to go for that liver shot, that left up to the body like that. But oh, 
but yeah, I just, I just can't help it. It's my favourite punch, and I haven't got a finish with it yet. Let's see that again. Uppercut. Oh, and then a follow up with a lead uppercut. We took the, the counter uppercut, but he, he rocked us with the lead uppercut. Just that block counter, it's um, just does so much damage. On top of the uppercut being a damaging punch anyway, but when you, when you couple it up with a counter shot, it's fucking devastating. And it just so happens it counters the fucking left hook to the body, which is my favourite punch. Ready to fight. Ready. Oh, came in for the counter there, buddy. Threw the left uppercut up there and countered me. Slipped out of the way of that one. Oh, that left switch, the, the, the normal left roundhouse to the body is so slow. Oh, low kick got to him as he was pivoting out. Oh, he's got the takedown. Got to be careful. Glover's got good submissions. Likes to rear naked choke. Likes to take the mount and make you turn to your back. Uh, sorry. Oh, we got the sweep. He likes to make you, when he's got you in mount, hit you with strikes and get you to roll onto his front and then take you back from there. into that low kick. Oh, he's going to get this, I think. Yeah. Caught the kick as I threw the left kick. That left roundhouse is just slow as shit. Passes into the half guard. Might go for it. Side choke here. He's going for it. Quick enough on the deny then. Should be alright. Are we going to get the sweep? Are we going to turn him into the half guard? No, he stays where he is. Back to the feet. He had the top control there. Hard low kick. Gave him a leg event, a health event, one of his legs. They was thinking it was that one as he was pivoting off. Yeah, that was it. And then he pivots into one. Yes, he took some big damage there on the low kick. Right straight to the body then. There's an exchange in the pocket. Oh, I went for the switch kick, but a Fucking didn't know that left hook was coming after it. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, he's going to get this. Yeah, this is not good. Come 
lot of fakes. Blocks the kick to the liver. Him. The upper cuff got to him as well. Right straight put him down. Oh, I knew he was going to get it. I thought I was just about to say the upper cut on the break. Fucking bullshit AI. gonna get it again when we separate here. No. Oh, and he rocked me again. Fuck's sake, anything he touches me with. Right straight to the body. We go to a decision, both fatiguing at the end there, he was more tired than I was. Oh, look at that front kick as he changed levels. I actually don't know who's won this, I feel like we got some good, we dropped him, but like he had some takedowns and shit. I'm actually don't know, I'm so amazed in the fight. See, I feel like we did enough. I feel like I had, uh, had the momentum a little Ladies bit. And gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 30-27. Declared the winner by you. Yes, we did it. Almost got the body shot finish. We ate him with a liver shot, but I think that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to go for body shot finishes way too much. And we didn't get knockout machine. Who gives a shit? Fucking bull bullshit contracts. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on going for body shot finishes, and it's difficult against the AI. It really is. I got one in my last career, but like I say, it felt easier. It just did. I'm trying to get left hooks to the body finishes. There's just like I said, I'm just not getting enough damaging on the body, and it's hard getting counter shots in on the AI. I'm just struggling. So we're rank one now. Surely the next match is John Jones. Look at that, 30 and 1. Fucking hell. It's the next fight, the title fight. It is. There is Johnny Bones. God, I've never fought his AI in this game, but I'm guessing it's going to be fucking dialed up to the maximum. Are we, are we main it? We've got to be fucking main event. Title fight, of course. Watches tapes and then I'll call it a video. Four and a half. It's gonna be balanced. Oh, kickboxer. It's gonna have all kinds of spinning elbows and shit, I'm guessing. Ground elbow, five star. Fucking ground elbow. Four star shoulder locks. Sp oh, spinning elbow, there we go. Four star wrestling transitions and lead leg side kick. Oh, that's right, gonna be doing the obliques and shit like that, so. Fucking hell, gotta protect those legs. Got some ball and a real contender would have finished. Fuck off, Kevin Pender. Fucking shit, shit. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. I will pick the title fight up in the next episode. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.